Where is that boat going? He's going to hit into the Tower Bridge. What's happening? Oh my God, I'm getting excited. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back. Sinead here with Free Tours by Foot London. I am standing on Vauxhall Bridge, you guys. And today, as part of my series of Walk With Me tours, well, we're not going to be walking. We're going to be gliding. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm taking you on board the Thames Clipper. Let's guide you London from the river. I am really looking forward to this one. The full bar on board. I may even have a little glass of champagne. We're going to go all the way from St. George's Wharf all the way up to Greenwich, ladies and gents. So I'm going to take some novel transportation today, but I just want to show you a beautiful way of getting around London on board the Thames Clipper. Stay tuned. The Thames Clippers, also known as Uber boats, are high-speed river buses that are primarily made for commuters, but that also make an effort to accommodate sightseers. Boats run from Putney in southwest London to Woolwich in southeast London, but for most visitors, it's the section between the London Eye and Greenwich that is most popular. So I'm just zooming in there, folks, to show you exactly where I've come out of. So this is Vauxhall Station, and Vauxhall Station is on the Victoria Line. It's only about two stops from um, Victoria. So very, very central on the Victoria line. But if you walk along the bridge here, and just across the road from you, just to show you, here, ladies and gentlemen, are the offices of MI6. The headquarters of MI6, the offices of James Bond himself on the riverfront are international spies. But what we do is, you take a little trip down here, and this shall bring you down onto St. George's Wharf. And we're gonna make our way down to the Thames Clipper. There are four ways that you can purchase your tickets. First, you can purchase your tickets online and simply show your PDF ticket upon boarding. Second, you can download the Thames Clipper app to pay, or if you already have the Uber app, you can simply use that app to pay your fare. Third, you can use your Oyster card or contactless credit card. And lastly, you can pay online at one of the automated ticket machines or at a ticket office if one is available. In addition to purchasing single and one-way tickets, you can also purchase an unlimited hop-on, hop-off day ticket called the Rover Pass. So here we go. So I'm going to make my way down here. And it's all very straightforward. That. Tip my oyster card here. No Bye, love. Thank you. It's okay. I'm just filming on there. Sorry? Yeah, I have love yet. Thank you. Gentlemen, there's no objections. This is terrific. Now, oh, I'll go straight through to the back. Now, look how pretty it is, you guys. So, there's the bar and the restaurant. Ooh. A little wobble there, ladies and gents. So let me just give you a good view of the boat. And then you have toilets on board as well. See how beautiful that is. Okay, let's have a little adventure. Could be rather... We are going to jump ahead until we approach the Palace of Westminster and the London Eye. As I look to try to find some good angles to view these sites. So the Victoria Tower, the Palace of Westminster. Now, if you take a look at the color of the bridge, it's a green bridge. That signifies that, well, it's to signify the colors of the seats in the House of Commons. So if you look along the side here, you see those red awnings and green awnings. They are the bars and restaurants of the House of Lords and the House of Commons, because red is the color of the upholstery in the House of Lords. So the bars and restaurants in there, which they don't pay an awful lot of money for. The beautiful building by Augustus Pugin and Charles Barry. They're the Houses of Parliament, folks. And you'll see the iconic Big Ben under massive construction. But somebody told me there may be a possibility it'll be ready by New Year's this year. How exciting would that be? So the first Houses of Parliament burned to the ground in a destructive fire, but this particular building, 18 rebuilt in 1834. Augustus Pugin and Charles Barry, but coming up ahead as well, London Eye. 32 pods on the London Eye, 
to represent the 31 boroughs in the City of London. If you would like to take flight, you can do so. It's a great time to do so, actually. You can pre-book your tickets as well and pay, if you like, for fast track on the London Eye. Now we have on the right hand side County Hall. This beautiful building is home to the London Dungeons, the London Aquarium, and Shrek Adventure World in the basement. We use as former council offices for Margaret Thatcher at one time. Well, an extension of our offices. After this ride is over, you might also like to take a virtual tour on the London Eye. We recently published a video where I spin 360 degrees around this famous London attraction. We will link to this video as well as to our blog post, which has tips on visiting the London Eye and how to get discounted tickets. And not all Thames Clippers stop at the London Eye on their eastbound journeys. We are on one of those boats and we are now heading to Westminster Pier across the river. So I've moved position again now. So I'm going to kind of run between sides. So we are turning around to get our passengers on the opposite side. So we're off again. It's a little noisier. I'm doing my ASMR voice at the moment. There's quite a few people after getting on board. So um, we'll do the best we can to guide. So I've come back to the back of the boat. This is probably the better visual, you guys. Move our way up. And I'll try and navigate my way around it here. I'm kind of turned around. So we're coming along the south bank here. And our next stop after this will be, I believe, London Bridge, actually. Oh, no. My apologies, we'll be stopping again at an embankment here. So now there is a really lovely pub here, the Tattersalls Castle, ladies and gents. A pub on the River Thames, so you can literally get drunk on water. So love that little place. Now you have the speedboats coming up here as well, another great attraction on the River Thames, but I mean on a glorious day like this, it's absolutely worth it. So we're just going under the Hungerford Bridge, you'll see it now. I'm angling the camera behind me. Now this is a pedestrian bridge and a railway bridge, so the pedestrian section connects Waterloo Bridge, Waterloo Station to Embankment Station. We walk over one of the Golden Jubilee Bridges on our Thames River Walk video, which we will also link to in this video's description. Now we're off again, ladies and gents. I've picked up some more passengers along the way. So as you can see, there's the Hungerford Bridge. Everyone making their way over towards the South Bank, which walks all the way up towards Tower Bridge and the Tower of London and beyond, if you like. A couple of buildings here. This is the Royal Festival Hall that was built to commemorate the Festival of Britain after morale was so low after World War II. Um, Laurence Olivier, the likes of Jeannie Ditch, Sir Ian McKellen have all performed inside there. It's a beautiful building. The Royal Festival Hall, beautiful restaurants and bars along the way as well. A huge building on the right there is Charing Cross Station. And here is the wonderful Cleopatra's Needle. Cleopatra's Needle was a gift from the King of Egypt to the people of Great Britain for their help with the Battle of the Nile. 3,500 years old, guarded on either side by the magnificent Sphinx. Now we're coming under Waterloo Bridge, known as the Ladies' Bridge of London. 
because when the men were called to World War II, construction on that bridge had already been gone. So somebody had to step up and it was the ladies of London who did so and they donned their construction belts, the girls got out their tools and off they went to work. That bridge was mostly constructed by the ladies of London. So it's absolutely no surprise then that to this day, it's the only bridge in London that was ever finished on time and under budget. Well done girls. I know the boys will have a bit of a problem with the under budget. Part. There's the South Bank Centre, the beautiful rooftop as well, and a singing elevator inside there. I'm going to do a video actually on that very soon. Somerset House is over here on the right, the largest 19th century building. I believe in the country, but I'm sure you'll correct me if that's not the case. Um, it used to be home to the tax records here in London, now it's home to London Fashion Week, which took place last week. That's a beautiful building too. You head in there and there's gorgeous ice skating rinks in the winter time, outdoor cinema theaters in the summer. Now, where else in the world will I be today, ladies and gents? Only cruising on the River Thames on the affordable Thames Clipper. Now, there is another option. You have the other company called City Cruises and they head all the way up as well. And look at the great atmosphere on the South Bank today. Quite a few out and about. food halls and bars, open bars, entertainment. Gabriel's Wharf. Oh, urban legend has it, Wharf is warehouse at Riverfront. I believe that's been disputed by one of my colleagues. So here's the Oxo Tower, ladies and gentlemen. A stunning restaurant up there. Beautiful place to get a bite to eat. Quite expensive, but uh, very popular. Uh, interesting story about that. Oxo is like a bourbon beef cube. Well, no bourbon. <laughs> a bouillon beef cube that you use for stock. But traditionally, you are not allowed to advertise on the River Thames. So they got around that advertising by just doing X's and O's. Very clever. Just coming over Blackfriars Bridge. This is the older portion of the bridge and you'll still see some of the old uh, sections of the bridge are still standing. Now this is the more modern side. This is a station, Blackfriars. We believe that there was a a monk of black well we know there was a monk of black fires in the area and that bridge was opened by queen victoria in 1869 following the eight years after the death of her beloved prince albert now you will see the founder's arms here we featured that in our london by night tour ladies and gentlemen so Blackfriars Pier is on the other side. They're stopping here again at the bank side, ladies and gents. Here's the beautiful Museum of Modern Art, the Tate. We're heading under the Wibbly Wobbly Bridge. This is the Millennium Bridge, also featured in the Harry Potter movie. Some of you may be familiar with. The Millennium Bridge is also featured on our Harry Potter film locations video that we will also link to in the description. I also walk over it in the previously mentioned night tour walk. And here's the Museum of Modern Art, the Tate, formerly the Bankside Power Station. Now affording massive industrial spaces and a luxurious space for artists to exhibit their work. An amazing free museum here in London. Museum of Modern Art, the Tate. Not to be confused with British, the British Tate. That's an art gallery showcasing some of the finest works of British artists, including one mentioned in my Jack the Ripper tour, a chap called Walter Sickert. And Turner, one of the largest collections of Turner paintings in the world. Now, 
course. I'm going to turn you around a little bit to show you St. Paul's on the other side. Masterpiece of Sir Christopher Wren, which we featured in our City of London tour and our One New Change tour. Now, obviously, some of the properties along here are just ridiculously expensive, ladies and gents. You pay to overlook the river. Maybe one day. Now there's the famous London Bridge, first bridge crossing on the River Thames, ladies and gents. It's been a bridge on that site for over 2,000 years. This is the fifth bridge. The fourth bridge was purchased by an American millionaire in 1973 and was shipped to Arizona and it's now in Lake Havasu in Arizona. And we're off again. So we're going to be making our way to Traders Gate and the Tower of London and of course Tower Bridge. Now for those of you that are joining us ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Sinead is my name. I'm a guide here with Free Tours by Club London for my loyal followers. Thank you as ever for your loyal following and your subscriptions. And your amazing comments and suggestions they keep me going they truly do ladies and gents we are now sailing past hms belfast a world war ii light cruiser that is today a floating museum run by the imperial war museum the ship is open for daily tours and we have a web page with tips to plan your visit both are linked to in the description below i'm right behind it the shard 1015 1,016 feet high, I believe it is. It was the tallest building in Western Europe, but that's been surpassed now. But if you look really closely, look at the window cleaners up there. It's a pretty intense charm. They used to have sail down, but now they seem to have their, thank God, it must have been difficult to insure them. Now we have the Egg Slicer building. Our city hall, ladies and gentlemen. It's the, uh, is the offices of the Greater London Mayor. City Can. We also have some stunning footage of Tower Bridge coming up now in just a moment. I'm going to get you Tower of London as well as here on the other side. There's the walkie talkie building. That's the rooftop of Sky Garden, free of charge as well. You can get amazing views of London. Just need to book online. There's plenty of slots available at the moment. I myself plan on doing some secret filming in the reservoir. And we are stopping here at Tower Millennium Pier. And there's the other boat that take you up towards Greenwich is the City Cruises. Ladies and gents, yeah. 
just right beside us here. There was entry to Traitor's Gate. Do you see that there? So I often think about people that came up here in their final journey in a boat. They were brought into dark dungeons and prison cells there. And some of them never saw the light of day again. Quite terrifying to think. We will be releasing a Tower of London video in the not too distant future, so stay tuned for that. But now, the icing on the cake. So I'm waiting till we go under it, and you're going to get an amazing view of it. We're going right under Tower Bridge of London, ladies and gents. Bascule and Suspension Bridge. Taken from the French word bascule to mean seesaw. Uh, hydraulically operated manually in times gone by. Now a hydraulically operated using electricity and oil. 60 seconds ordinarily for a half a lift. Oh, it looks like it may be opening, you guys. 90 seconds for a full lift. Oh, please open. It's going to open. It. No, it can't. London, a much busier shipping port in times gone by. Where is that boat going? It's going to hit into the Tower Bridge. What's happening? Oh my God, I'm getting excited. Is he turning around? Oh, thank God he is. We have a video of a Tower Bridge lift that I filmed some time ago. We'll leave a link to this video as well in the description below. London, a much busier shipping port in times gone by. So it would have been open about 400 times a month. Now it's open about 400 times a year. A much duller grayish type of color, but it was painted blue, white, and red. The celebration of the Silver Jubilee of Her Majesty the Queen, which took place in 1977. Of course, next year, there are 70 years on the throne, the only monarch ever in history to reach that milestone. Massive celebrations planned in London next year for that. Now we're coming along here. Look at the beautiful buildings in the back. You can see the walkie-talkie. And over here, you have the cheese grater. Um, I'm trying to film here with my back turned, so I can't point them out to you right now, but I will get the guys when they're editing, they'll, Stephen and Aaron will point to the buildings. So you have the cheese grater, the walkie-talkie. You have the gherkin, the scalpel. And look at these gorgeous ships along here. Closer to the river. St. Catherine's Dock is also in this beautiful area. So, for the sake of brevity, we are going to speed up here and enjoy the views as our Thames Clipper ferries us around the river bend between the Tower of London and the next available stop, Canary Wharf, London's second financial district, before swinging around the Isle of Dogs to our final destination, Greenwich. There you have it, ladies and gents. Welcome to Greenwich. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Here we are, Greenwich Pier. Depending on when you are watching this, we may already have published our virtual walking tour of Greenwich. I make stops at the Cuddy Sark, Greenwich Market, the University of Greenwich and the Old Naval Academy, as well as a stop in Greenwich Park and the Royal Observatory, where the Prime Meridian passes through. We will leave a link in this video in the description below. The fair from Vauxhall, where I went from, all the way up it was eight pounds 20 so not bad ladies and gents and here we are at greenwich so an easy journey just always remember again tap in and tap out because if you do not tap out after you've tapped in for a journey it's what's known as a incomplete journey and you'll be charged maximum fare for the entire day right ladies and gents Sinead signing out time for me to have a look around greenwich